Hello my dear friends, today we have a problem with our plant Diefenbacher and by the way this plant became so tall okay we didn't cut it for years for ages I say so it's already a new seedling appeared but nevertheless it's fall down fell down today and we need to replant it, it. we need to replant Propagate it. How to do it? I will show you it quickly. Okay, okay. My plant is here. You can understand, of course, it's in a corner because now it's a uh, winter time. So because that's why I put here some plants from other places. But nevertheless, this Diefenbacher plant already became so tall. We need to cut it. By the way. It's a very easy process how to do it. First of all you need to have a knife, big, small, no matter. And of course this plant is growing, growing and finally it's fell down. Why? Because it's so tall, not good enough nutrition. And of course already appeared some seedlings here. Some seedlings is offset here appeared. And of course we need to cut it at least 15 cm, 15 20 cm near the ground and it will be good enough for reproduction and to make a new plant, a new plantation some way in another box. Well, first of all we need to cut it this huge stem. This plant belonging to the family Aratza and that's actually a tropical plant. All right, I show you this is a big one. I need to cut some is here well you can understand very tall very tall so so this is a tropical plant so it's usually growing somewhere in, in side houses in a greenhouses it's very famous because of this pattern pla uh, leaves so foliage is very nice so I cut it just because we need later to put it somewhere in a glass of water. So about this. It's easy to cut it right. It's considered that this plant is poisonous, but don't worry too much. It's poisonous if you are shivering it and you put it in inside your mouth. So you, know, you try to eat it, so it may be dangerous for your throat, for your mouth. But if you do not shiver it, it's okay. So uh, here some, okay, it will be just some very soaky, soaky stem. So you need to use, for example, very simple toilet paper to cover it. And this ceiling will be just slowly drying here, probably 20-24 hours. And then you can use it again and you can put it somewhere for example in this huge bottle like this maybe this huge bottle with water tomorrow maybe or in this one tomorrow and after approximately two weeks or one month you will get small roots and good roots enough for replantation it to another in other places maybe so it will be better rather than to keep this old plant. Okay, and root rooted plant already easy for transplanting, and this plant will be changing. Okay, this shape because okay it's coming just to the sun sunshine, so the, it became so tall. Too much, too much. So I cut it here two stems. Well, you can recognize it's two stems. Both both of them. I need. To cut it with toilet paper, this cut it edge, edge, well, and after 24 hours, I will put it to the glass or to this bottle with water. So to make roots for this plant, okay, be careful, and I hope that the replanting will be going good enough. So that's easy process, and of course you need to cut the stem. Because this stem, okay, huge one, one meter, not necessary to you. So, and it's not good enough visual 
visually. Okay, I cut it again. So English name is Duncan, Duncan, or mother-in-law plant. So all this huge stem, you can you can throw it out, or maybe you can put it to the bottle with water, and you can try to get some roots. Maybe these seedlings can be useful for you if you are trying to multiply this plant and sell it, or to give a gift for your friends. But but from these small cut it stems you will get just new plants they will come here like this small seedling so this is a process okay enjoy your plants in your home okay try to make a, a new plantation and don't, don't make these funny two old plants like this and by the way you see so funny and base greetings from here the capital of Ukraine, watch my video, and if you like some videos on my channel, subscribe to my channel, press like, subscribe, and write comments, by the way. I will get something more for you, especially for your request about plants, about nature, about Ukraine, about whatever you want. I can record it from biological point of view, as an entomologist, as a keeper, as a nature lover. And good luck, and see you soon on my channel. Good luck!